All right, in this video, I'm going to show you how to put your gradients onto your insects that you would have already practiced. You've got two insects, so you're going to practice this a couple of times. You're going to want your shaded uh, pencil drawing to refer to because you've already figured out where all the shading goes, which is mostly uh, along the bottom. Um, and uh, we're going to take an, I'm going to start out doing this kind of wet on dry but then you'll see I'll end up switching to kind of a wet on wet. Um, so it might work out better for you to do wet on wet, but I'll do the back section uh, wet on wet uh, anyway. So you'll see both approaches, and uh, um, I kind of probably made a mistake in starting out wet on uh, dry, but uh, I'm going to use both of these brushes. So I'm going to mix up my paint here. What I'm going to use for my shadow color is a combination of some purple, um, but then I'm going to tone it down a little bit with some brown. Brown is kind of in the red family, right? It's kind of a dark orange, so it kind of pushes it back towards the red a little bit. So, you know, I'll see some of that differentiation of color, uh, but it won't be too stark. So I decided just to kind of tone down that purple just a little bit. But you can be as contrasting with your colors as you want. You can choose any color you want uh, for your shadow color, as long as it's, uh, you know, a darker darker version. So I've got my paint nice and thick. You need to make sure your paints are soft, um, otherwise you're not going to get this real dark uh, value with your pigment. And um, the nice thing with the legs there is it kind of is going to break this up into sections as I paint. Um, so I'm going to start between uh, the two the two legs there and do that little section first and then I'll move over uh, to doing the area around the head. And then lastly, um, I will do the tail. So I had to do a voiceover on this because my video was too long. So I had to shorten it. I had to speed it all up. Uh, but then speeding it up, obviously, um, I sound like Elvin and the Chipmunks. So I've had to do a voiceover on this. So that's why sometimes my actions here painting don't really match up with what I'm talking about. Because I was talking and saying a lot of different things than... Uh, what I'm saying now. So I'm holding my painting in my hand and I'm going to turn it sideways to paint uh, but then that also allows me to rotate it as needed to see how it's coming out because <clears throat> when you have things turned sideways you can't always see. So you start out with the dark paint and then immediately I kind of rinse out my brush there to get rid of some of the excess paint. When I don't want to lay down any more paint I have to rinse it out because I don't want to put any more paint down. I just want to take the paint that I already have and start spreading it out. So I just put a little bit of dark paint down, wash out my brush, start spreading it out, with you know, cleaning out my brush with the water, just like we practiced on the spheres, uh, drying it out on the towel as needed um, to get that to kind of fade into the dry paint that's already there. So this gets a little splotchy as it fades out. But you'll see I'll come back and I'll fix it later on. Decided to add a little more darkness underneath the wing there. So add a little bit of purple paint in there. And then just faded it out a little bit. And then just going back in and kind of touching up. But you'll see I'll come back in and touch this up again. You just have to be careful when you go back into an area. If it starts to dry, you just need to make sure that the paint that you add to it is not too watery because you don't want to get those those blossoms you don't want to get that water pushing all the paint away so whatever paint you add has to be of kind of the same <coughs> uh, state of water um, hydration I guess if you will as what's down there all right so now I'm painting the area around the head kind of underneath the shoulder and behind the head. Again, a couple of strokes of the purple paint, and then I immediately start to wash out my brush, dry it a little bit, and start to spread out that paint. Just getting it to fade out, dry the brush a little bit, pull that up, turn it to check it out, see how it's going, see where I need to add. Grab a little more paint, start to paint around the head, because the head is kind of going to cast a shadow a little bit onto the body. So I want to carry that shadow up into that area. Same process, 
add a couple of strokes of paint, wash out my brush, and then just using, <coughs> excuse me, water to kind of pull that paint out a little bit. And I could leave it like that, but I wasn't real happy with <coughs> sorry, the splotchiness of it. <coughs> so I took a chance and I decided to jump in and just kind of wet the whole thing. So I just wash out my brush and I just take some plain water and start painting over the whole thing, getting the whole thing wet. Now in using my small brush, it seemed like it was making it really streaky. So I decided to use a bigger brush, a broader brush, to spread the paint out more evenly. I could work a little quicker and spread that paint out. So you can see the paint kind of loosens up, and then I just kind of have to redistribute it. Now I go from the red area, and then I start working back down into the purple area. So I take the water, and I not only wet the red area, but I'm also wetting the purple area, my shadow area. Then once everything is wet, I can kind of blend. You see how I go from the purple area into the red area, from the red area back into the purple area. What you don't want to do is if you were painting in the purple area, you just pick up your brush and go way over, you know, on the top side of the red area, because then you're going to put a purple spot down there. So you kind of have to um, work from one area into the other and then back out again to get those kind of smooth transitions. So if I was to do this again, you know, from experience now, I would um, maybe, um, I might do it the same way, or I might try wetting the whole thing first. Uh, you could try one like I did and do your second one, try it a different approach, maybe do wet and wet. So now since everything's wet, I'm just um, increasing the shadow because I sort of washed out the shadow a little bit by bringing some water down into it. So since everything was wet, I could just go back in and dab some purple paint in there. And what it does, because it's wet, it just sort of spreads out, okay, like ripples outward. And you can only do that, obviously, if everything is wet. Um, and it's just got a little bit of sheen to it. You might not be able to see it in the video, but it's got a little bit of sheen to it, meaning it's just a little wet. So I can just go in and kind of dab a little paint in there, and it will just spread out like that. So now what I'm going to do is the tail section here, or the abdomen, the dragonfly part here. And this one I'm going to pre-wet. I'm going to do this wet and wet. I make sure I get every part of that wet. It loosens up the paint a little bit. I kind of just re spread it out. So that's a word. Redistribute, let's say, the paint. Take some purple. And then I just paint it along the bottom. And you can immediately see that it starts to, you know, spread out. And now I'm just going to rotate it to make it easier to kind of spread that outward and I rinsed off my brush a little bit because that again I don't want to add any more paint I don't want it any darker it's dark enough so I have to rinse out the paint so that all I'm doing is spreading the paint that I already have and that's pretty much it and you're going to do the same thing I didn't do the head but you're going to do the same thing on the head uh, following, you know, the guidelines that you've already laid out for yourself in your pencil shading. And then if this one doesn't work out, um, you know, you're going to do another one right underneath of that. And this is all practice so that when you do your insect, it comes out uh, really well.